This week, you'll use the Moodle Wiki tool for the first time. So what is a wiki? Well, a wiki is a collaborative tool that allows users to add, modify, or delete content to simple web pages. It's an online database. It's a way for us to share information to create a new repository representing some concept or piece of information. In our course, you're going to use wikis to work collaboratively in group efforts so that you'll learn from each other and share information to create web-based resources about learning and learning theorists. These are all group or collaborative tasks when they're put in a wiki format. Sometimes you'll work uh, as a whole class, as in this first exercise where you're going to provide a scholarly uh, definition of learning. Other times you'll be in smaller groups of two or three, for instance later in the course uh, when you work on specific learning theories or theorists. But the tool will be the same in all cases. So let's take a look at this Moodle Wiki tool and we'll talk a little about what we might expect there. So here we're looking at the first page of our uh, course management system for Psych 706 and I'm going to scroll down to week two. You can see as I'm scrolling down there's a little information here shared about wikis. All right. So I get down here to week two and I have a wiki task. I know it's a wiki task because I can see the wiki icon that was talked about earlier and the link and it provides uh, some information about what I'm expecting here. I'm going to click on this link and it's going to take me to the uh, next level of the management system. At this level, there's a little tab uh, area and it says click on map to select the scholarly definition of learning page. So this is how you're gonna get to the page that we will use at this. We can create multiple levels of pages and if you feel like you need to do that, uh, we can do that in this exercise. I will create additional levels or pages for each of the learning theorists as we get to that section of the course. All right, so click on map to select the scholarly definition of learning page. So I clicked on map. It, it carries the instructions forward for me and it shows me that I have pages including scholarly definition of learning. So I'm going to click on that page and we arrive at our wiki that talks about the scholarly definition of learning. Now one of your classmates found this pretty intuitive and has gone ahead and given you a good start. This is a very nice start. This is what a wiki looks like. It's a web page. It's simply context. Uh, it's kind of like writing in an editor and then it shows up on the web. And uh, so this is your beginning point. Your task as a class is for everyone to make a contribution to this. That contribution may be to add more information, to add a link to show us how some other idea is conceptualized or defined or, or demonstrated. Uh, but uh, you have a, a beginning here because your classmates uh, found this to be really pretty straightforward for her. Okay, So our tabs continue with us. Uh, in view we see the actual wiki page. In edit it takes us to a simple HTML editor. This is like, kind of like a simplified version of Word at this point. Uh, you don't have all of the same tools as you would have in Word, but you have many tools. You can select fonts, make them bold, select sizes. Uh, you can do bulleting and indents, and you can make links to uh, external resources. You can embed videos or pictures. Uh, build tables, check your spelling. All of these tools are available to you. They're very much like your favorite word processor. You simply come down here into the box and you add your content. Now if you see, a, a let's just take a super simple ex example here. Let's say there was a misspelling here. You could simply click into that and fix that spelling. But maybe you have another example of a uh, an external link to share. So you might come down here somewhere and, and create uh, a paragraph that talks about an external link. So this is how you would edit it. If you need to see the changes um, uh, as they would appear full screen, you can click on preview and that takes you back to being able to see it uh, in its entirety. Uh, or from edit, uh, when you're done, you can simply 
uh, say save and that will save all of the changes that you've made at that point. It's important to save because if you don't all of your effort will be spoiled. I would encourage you to save periodically during your editing in order to make sure you don't lose anything. All right, the next tab is the History tab. When I click on the History tab, what I get is a running record of who has been working in the wiki. This is how I'll know if you're making contributions to the wiki. Uh, it shows me when it was modified, uh, who modified it, what version we're up to, and so on. So this is, a, a, this is how I'll keep track. It's how you can keep track of what you've done last time. We've been to the map page before. That simply tells us the multiple pages. Map page will become more important once we add the learning theories pages because uh, when you enter the wiki tool, then you'll have to go to your page or you'll have to select the theorists that you want to write about that someone else has worked on. The files tab shows us the files that have been uploaded. So the uh, individual who has created uh, our beginning tab here uh, has loaded a picture of a brain, some images that represent change and experience and so on. Anytime we upload a file, embed a file into our wiki, uh, it winds up here. And then finally there was an admin page. You don't need to worry about that. That's the one that I use in order to um, create uh, these pages. Okay? So this is what Wiki looks like in Moodle. It's really pretty straightforward. You simply enter into this page. It's a living document that you can add to, you can modify, you can delete things. Be a little cautious with the deletion issues. Uh, you know, delete errors. But uh, if someone's gone to the effort of creating something, you probably don't want to delete it. You might want to modify it. You might email that person and say, hey, I'm thinking about changing this because uh, I found a different resource or because uh, of whatever reason you might have for wanting to do that. Be respectful of each other. This is a collaborative effort, uh, and it's important to remember that. All right, so that's an overview of the wiki tool, how to get into it, how to make edits with it, how I know what's going on and you know what's going on in the history of the changes and where the files go. Now, uh, also, I think maybe you have a, might have a, a question regarding what kind of content goes here or how do we structure it. So I think uh, the best living example that I can possibly give you is Wikipedia because it's the biggest, it's the most robust. Uh, Wikipedia is not a good scholarly resource, in my opinion. Uh, you would not use Wikipedia and cite it in a paper. And if you think about it for a minute, it's pretty clear as to why, and that's because it is a group-created document, and you don't know about the level of expertise and skill in the people who created, edited, and modified that document. It could have errors in it, and we're very, very careful in our scholarly work not to have errors. So. Um, if I was writing a paper, I would not go to Wiki, Wikipedia and get my information to write that paper. However, it is a great way to share information and to work collaboratively in a class like this. Uh, I'm going to take you and show you a page on Wikipedia that talks about wikis. And I'm showing you this primarily because it gives you an example of what a wiki might look like. It gives you an example of how they're structured and how we would navigate within them and I want you to try to use that, uh, that process in the creation of our wikis. So here we are on Wikipedia and I've done a search to find wiki and it's kind of interesting. It gives us, a mod uh, gives us a definition of what a wiki is and we can see that that definition matches the way that Moodle is set up to work with it. Uh, it also gives us uh, some other kind of interesting little things. Uh, wikis didn't come into being until about 1994 and uh, Ward Cunningham did that based upon uh, trying to create the simplest online database that could work. He named it using a, a Hawaiian word for fast or quick, which is actually pronounced witty or viti because in Hawaiian the K letter has the T pronunciation. So here we are on this page and we can see many things. We can see that where we're talking about definitions of learning, they're talking about wikis. We can see a short description of what it's about. 
we can see the original definitions that have been provided. We can see that they've embedded some photos for us. And then perhaps most interestingly here, we can see this little table. This, this table uh, provides the navigation, provides the structure. So I would encourage you as a class to create this kind of navigation where you have uh, element one, which are the characteristics. How do we, in this case, how do we edit, navigate, link to, and search them? Number two, what's the history? Number three, what are the implementations? Uh, you will have very similar kinds of um, structural needs in your wiki. So kind of look at this and think about how you would apply that. You can see that where we talk about characteristics, this is hot linked. If I was to click that, it would bring me down to this paragraph where we talk about uh, what are the characteristics of a wiki. And then within characteristics of a wiki, a sub-element of that is editing wiki pages. And we can see that the next paragraph is editing wiki pages. It talks about what goes on there. Now, uh, Moodle is doing this for you. It's actually editing it in HTML equivalent, but it's letting you do it in uh, what you see is what you get model. So you're typing text, it's creating that HTML and it's outputting what you see on the right here or the rendered output. Um, <clears throat> probably other than those elements of how it's structured, I would encourage you to think about having a, a section at the end of the wiki for references. Uh, because this is a scholarly definition, I expect there to be references. Uh, I don't expect those references just to be definitions from dictionaries. I expect you to go to uh, books, journals, or other resources. I mentioned the Merlot and a couple of others in the introduction. Uh, and find information there. And that information needs to be properly cited. Um, in this course, of course, we're a psychology course, an education college. We're interested in using APA style to cite things, so I would encourage you to um, use the APA style citations in text when you do these things. Um, in this model, they've simply used a footnote kind of a structure. I would try to go the other way, but I would definitely set up a references page. Uh, and then, interestingly, he's added further readings and external links. The external links is kind of intriguing to me. Uh, at the end of your document, you could uh, include a section where you had links to things that you found were interesting, useful, or helpful in uh, creating this page. So here we have a, an example for those who wanted to have an exemplar uh, to show them what would a wiki page look like. Wikipedia is what a wiki page looks like. Here's a single page within Wikipedia that talks about what wikis are, it provides a nice model. It also provides an excellent description about how wikis function and why they exist. And then uh, we've also had an opportunity to review our tools, uh, and particularly this set of tabs over here. Uh, let me know in my virtual office if there are any problems or concerns uh, in implementing this, but uh, I think this probably will be uh, useful to you in sorting this out. So. Uh, Good luck on your uh, adventure here, and uh, I hope you uh, find this a, a, an interesting exercise working with your colleagues to provide this uh, input. All right.